about this? I'll just agree that using chocolate is the best way to catch a fish, and we can call it a day. Come on, Crash. This is no fun. I have it your way. I'm leaving. Chico's gonna be sorry that he left. <laughs> Are you looking for a snack? Here you go. Named him Crunch. What? Let me get this straight. So the minute I left, you then allegedly caught a dragon with chocolate. That's right. Did you really think I would believe that? Are you trying to set me up so later on you could tell everyone that I fell for your story? It's not a story. It's the truth. It's not if I can't hear it. I would believe me. You are. I was getting worried for a second. I thought I had imagined you. <laughs> Sorry, pal. Out of luck. No more chocolate. But I've got something better. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> in the world's been happening here. He really liked eating chocolate and jam. Also, <laughs> corn chips. 
Well, then I think I've figured out what's wrong with him. Nobody should eat this much garbage. <laughs> Even a dragon would get sick. You know, healthy food can taste good, too. It's all my fault. It's all right. He'll eat some algae and feel better soon. <laughs> as long as he stays away from junk food, that is. In the future, <laughs> try and catch your dragons with vegetables or some fruit. Everything around begins to bloom and Mother Nature comes alive. But if you depend on Mother Nature for food, quite often you have no time to admire her beauty. You must plow, sow and fertilize, so in the autumn you can gather enough food to last all winter. Narco! Go get everybody! Tell them we're ready to plow the vegetable garden! What for? What do you mean, what for? So that we can plant the seeds. What for? Don't you know any other words? We all have to get ready for the harvest. We no. don't need that anymore, because now we live on the sun's rays. Only sun and Indian tea. Indian tea, Indian tea, everybody loves Indian tea. What's Indian tea? <laughs> It's the sun's rays that give energy to all. I will soon be filled with glorious strength, much like a solar-powered battery. The only things I need are some vitamins, and they are all right here in this Indian tea. So now we all take a gulp. <sighs> and we don't need anything else. Except for a small piece of chocolate cake. Attention, people. Those who are not ready to be freed from the temptations of chocolate cake, banana cream pie, marshmallow s'mores, and other similar scourges can spend their lives alone with the evil of food. Hey, guys! If we miss the planting now, then when the fall arrives, our barns will be empty. We won't have any food to eat. Keep absorbing the sun's rays. I'll be right back. My friend, like you, I was once consumed by illusions and fears and obsessed with all the material pleasures in life. But one night I was watching a DVD. It was a beautiful movie from India, and I saw the light. But... Did you know Indians only grow tea? And they live in harmony. They spend the day dancing and singing songs. Everybody's happy and very content. So wonderful. You know why? Because they live on the sun and drink tea. Give me a piece of cake. I'm so hungry, I'm starting to see spots. This is a good sign, my dear. Have a little patience, and you'll experience a condition where you'll feel the most extraordinary levity. You'll forever free yourself from the burden of cakes, bagels, and pastries. Mm. Tea now! How do you feel, Rosa? Before I forever leave this world of illusion, there is something I must do. I feel the need to dance! Uh -huh. Gimme, 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 gimme more tea! Try, 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 try. Gimme, gimme, gimme so that I can be free! Try, 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 try. While my stomach's screaming at me, I will just be dreaming of tea. I would love a little Danish. How about a bite of Cornish? I'm so hungry. Won't you feed me? Try, 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 try
Oh my love, your breath is like the wind blowing through a pomegranate tree. Your steps are no heavier than the whipped cream on a strawberry shortcake. Your lips are brighter than a cherry tart. My heart trembles like an empty fridge when you look at me. And when I see you, I forget everything that matters. I forget that I'm hungry. Carrot cake or coffee cake, even if it's lobster bake, I'm so hungry. Won't you feed me? Uh, winter's here. But what about the harvest? Oh. Did he pass out from hunger? No, he's just hibernating. He'll wake up next spring. Barry's really lucky he doesn't need to eat anything. He'll just suck on his paw. So what about us, Daco? Uh, this system works for India because it's always sunny. <laughs> Over there, they don't need to worry about winter time. Storm clouds, snow. They have elephants to carry things. Oh, look! <sighs> Barry looks like he's smiling. Maybe he's dreaming of something delicious. No, he looks very happy. He's singing. Uh, hurry, hurry. <laughs> he's dreaming of India. Maybe we should eat him. Look at all this. Just how long are you planning on being away? Ha, we don't know. So say goodbye forever, in case. I was just wondering, can I go too? If we got rid of some of our luggage, uh, Wally could come with us. All right then, <sighs> just go quickly. seems to be the problem. I just found out. I'm afraid of heights. Our minds can really huh? play some nasty tricks on us. <laughs> One minute you're enjoying the wind in your wool, and the next you're cowering under a bench. You're thinking, this balloon is perfectly safe. I'm snug as a bug in this basket. <laughs> and suddenly you see something below. You lean down. You really want to get a better look at this thing. Oh, you wish your eyesight was better. You lean over just a little bit more. Then this strong gust of wind comes right out of nowhere. Next thing you know, you're falling through the air, plummeting toward the ground. Ah! <laughs> Bam! It's all over for you. Huh? Wow. Of course, that's not going to happen. <laughs> but your mind is telling you it will. What should I do? You need a talisman. A good luck charm to ease your mind. Mm-hmm. An object that brings you comfort and makes you think you're safe. That protects you. Uh, and do you have this, uh, uh, thing that you said? Hmm. Oh, not that. Uh-huh. Ah, mm, no. Oh, this is close, but not quite. But here, ah, maybe in here. Mm, I can't see without my glasses. That, that is exactly it. There's even a string for convenient carrying. Ha-ha, <laughs> I just need to tie it back up. You think 
You think that this will work? 100% money back guarantee. <laughs> Wally's back! I thought you were afraid! <laughs> it was more like terrified. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not afraid anymore. Come on then, climb up! <laughs> Everything's fine here. La 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 Whoa! Oh, Chico, pull it tight! I'm trying. It's so hard. Don't worry, you guys. This is all going to end just fine. We're perfectly safe. Nothing can happen. Oh, no. I can't get the valve open. Well, we're done for. Have a little faith, you guys. Hold on. Wally, come back. Stop moving. You're going to fall off. What are you doing? <laughs> You're both wrong. I've got a lucky talisman. We'll be fine as long as whoa, I have my lucky talisman with me. Wally! I just found the lucky talisman! What did you just find? The talisman! Then what's this? You said this was it! I can't see it! It's too far! Looks like a regular button to me! Help me! Somebody get me off of here! Wally, you have to reach the valve! It's our only chance! Uh, me? But I can't do that! You have to. We're counting on you. I can't do anything. I'm too scared. Just, Just do it. it. Ah. Well, here goes nothing, I guess. Ah. Here I come. <laughs> well... That's that. It seems our trip has come to an end. Are you sure? I'm definitely sure. Oh, thank goodness. That's the greatest news. Now I can pass out in peace. You're cold. Oh. Getting colder. Getting warmer. Even warmer. Cold. <laughs> Warm. Really warm. Oh, hot, hot! So hot you could fry an egg on your forehead. <laughs> I think something's wrong with my head. I turned huh? into a goof. Of course it is, because you just hit it. I think I feel goofy. Chico, don't say silly things like that. I'll take you to the doctor now, and you'll see that you've always been goofy. <laughs> maybe I hit my brain's off switch. <laughs> or maybe the opposite. Maybe your brain went into hyperspeed, and you know a gazillion more things than you did before. I hmm? can't think of a gazillion more things. Don't worry, they're in there. <laughs> Your brain is in overdrive, which is pretty cool since you don't actually drive in the first place. You're like the eighth wonder of the world, but with that brain, you'll be up to number one in no time. There's no problem you can't solve. Chico, look. Think you can fix that bike? What did he say? Don't interrupt. Yeah? Yeah? Replace the axle? Yeah. <laughs> Replace the transmission? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's incredible. <laughs> Done. Hmm? 
It's all clear. <laughs> no sign of concussion at all. <laughs> well, he could have told you that. We just want to know if Chico's new brain power is dangerous to him. Hmm? Hmm? What is he saying? <laughs> he says that your cosmic aura is pulsating with blue light. Oh. Eat more fruits and vegetables. It'll clear you right up. Well, no, that's not what I wanted to ask. I wanted to say, why is Crash the only one that understands me? Isn't it clear? It's because I'm your best friend. Well, I may be just as smart as Chico is, but Chico has someone who knows his every thought. I don't. It's because you don't have any thoughts. Chico! Uh. <laughs> if one is going to be smart, then one should appear smart. I was currently planning to plant currant bushes in the whole yard, but then I decided to add a few bushes of raspberries. What you think? <laughs> Chico says that here, here, and here, you should plant only one thing, and that's carrots. Plant carrots? <laughs> Lots of carrots. No, Crash, not carrots. Cacti is what you should plant. Chico! I know you better than however it is you think you know yourself. Plant carrots. You know, you're supposed to read my thoughts, not make them up. Cactuses, mm. mm. small green ones. Mm. Uh, 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 crash, explain mm. it. Fine, just go away then. Mm. I don't need you. I'll find a way to tell people my own thoughts. Besides, when you told them, you used the wrong words. First, you made me dependent on your taste. And now when I ask you what to wear, all you can say is, huh? Hmm. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> okay, I don't get it. What should I put in? The hawthorn or the chamomile? <laughs> Chico, hmm? was it the cactus or the carrots? <laughs> No, no, no more. No more questions. I, I know nothing, nothing. I don't want to be the smartest one. I don't want to. I'll just hit my head again, and everything will go back to the way it was. Being smart isn't all that intelligent. Chico, we shouldn't have argued. We have to help the others together. Okay, you do the thinking just like before, and then I will translate. We can tell the others what your thoughts are. Except I don't have any. Yes, Chico, you do. I know better. Then why are you the only one who hears them? Because I'm your best friend, you goofy guy. <laughs> Crash. What did I just say? The end. Wow, that's right. Yeah. Why on earth would anyone want to go to a carnival? All they have are rides that go around in circles, games you can never win, and it's such a waste of time it's almost criminal. Yeah. Wouldn't you rather go to the theater? I could perform my poetry for you. I have a new one about a genius poet. He has all the answers to life's mysteries, but no one will listen to him. It's a tragedy because his friends are all so lowbrow that they couldn't possibly appreciate his brilliance. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, what's the point of all this? This mirror shows me nothing meaningful about the human condition. It's just not real. I look like cotton candy with stumps for legs and great big googly eyes. Is this what passes for humor around here? 
It's sad. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> you look like a fluffy pink pancake. <laughs> That's not funny. Not at all. Believe me, if you were that misshapen in real life, you wouldn't be making with the tee-hees and the ha-has. <sighs> Don't bother. It's useless to try and explain it to him. Wally doesn't have a funny bone in his body. That's another thing. Why do they call it the funny bone? There's nothing funny about that either. This mirror is pointless. And not funny. If you make a face for too long, can it freeze that way? I never make funny faces. This is all your fault, you and your mirrors. Your not-so-funhouse cast a spell on me. No, oh, why me? Why is it always me? I didn't even want to go to the carnival. I wanted to have a poetry slam. No, oh, my poor heart. If you think the mirrors in my funhouse did this to you, then maybe if you look in the mirror again, we can reverse the spell. <sighs> Oh, look, you're back to yourself again. Ah, you, you did it. I'm cured. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you're a poet, aren't you? It's okay, don't cry. You can embody no your work. No matter what. Now you're avant-garde and <laughs> very abstract. <laughs> Maybe if you get some rest and drink fluids, you'll get better soon. So I should take two aspirin and call you in the morning? Does this look like the stomach food to you? That's the worst advice I've heard all day. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Phew! I am so glad I brought my umbrella. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Huh? Metaphorically speaking. Wally? Hello? Wally? <sighs> Don't get so bent out of shape. This doesn't have to be a bad thing. Look at it this way. When life gives you lemons, start a lemonade stand. We can totally make use of your new condition. You think so? Of course I do! Have you ever been out walking and said to yourself, Wow, my legs are so tired! But you couldn't find a single place to sit? Just push this here and bend that there. Voila! A chair! Don't you hate it when your closet is so full that your dresses get all wrinkled? Well, when you're here, wrinkles are a thing of the past! Or imagine that I want to bring my jewelry collection to a friend's house. That'd be impossible! I only have two hands, but with you, the problem's solved! This goes here, that goes there. Perfect! What a great friend you are! Is that all I am to you? A piece of furniture? A doll for your amusement? How could you make me suffer this indignity, Rosa? My body may bend and stretch in unnatural ways, but I still have the soul of a poet! If you tickle me, do I not laugh? If you insult me, do I not weep? Don't I deserve better than being... made into a coat rack? Wow, that's some dream he's having. Eh? He complained all the way up the hill about having to help, but then he went and took a nap. <gasps> it was a dream? It was a dream! <laughs> Oh, I'm not a chair, or a puddle, oh. or a hanger for dresses. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I'm me. Marvelous me-shaped me. 
That was a funny dream. <laughs> but what was the point? All right. Huh? How much? Well, your volume, not counting ears, so to speak, looks like eight cups. Well, well, if we counted ears, it'd be more like 12 cups. The total is... Gee, it's 30 cups. We've grown. It's cooking time. Yes, cooking. I'm making something yummy for your great big to me. <laughs> hmm. Fresh hop cones, check. Mint leaves, check. Huh. Organic roots of motherwort. Organic roots of motherwort. Organic roots of motherwort. Ah. <sighs> Now that's some good motherwort. All right, how are you getting on? Oh. Purple pellets, it's just horrible. We nearly forgot the Chinese rose petals. Listen here. The secret to successful cooking is to follow the recipe exactly. Just one little misstep, failure. <gasps> I've spent my entire life collecting these recipes. This book is priceless. A recipe for apple pie. A recipe for perfect coziness. And one for eternal youth. Ow! How to seem scary smart. How to win the lottery jackpot. Etc. Etc. You should start collecting recipes yourself, dear. Then, when you're my age, Jess might know everything about everything, just like old Olga does. And, uh... What if I really need to do something, but don't have the recipe yet? Well, then you could just ask your old friend Olga what to do, because she knows everything about everything, including soccer. Whoops. You know, everyone should ask me these things. <laughs> just look. Crash and Chico decided to take a bath, but they obviously don't know how to do it properly. I'd be happy to teach them, but they're far too stubborn to ask. Look under B for bathroom. Badminton, bath bag. Uh -huh. I got it. There. Taking baths. Um, let's see how much the carrots added to my volume. Um, right. The first thing. Brrr. The water should be much warmer. <laughs> What's next? We add some shampoo. <laughs> then work up some nice foam. And step three. And step three, we add to the water... Fragrant medicinal herbs. <laughs> Step four, soak it in. <laughs> now rest and relax. <laughs> when he's soaked enough, give him a good scrub. What is a recipe? It's... Instructions for the meal that is life. Someone who's already been where you are has recorded their advice so others will know how they should handle it. With the benefit of experience, problems vanish when you follow the instructions. Ah! Uh, oh. Ugh. The more recipes you have in your book, the better your life will be. If I have a philosophy, that's it. Oh, I'm a little worn out. I need to grab a nice little rest. <sighs> oh! 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 oh. Uh, huh? What on earth's the matter? Why are you screaming like that? Mm. Huh? If you really want washboard abs, don't let the shoe polish get too dry. Interesting. <sighs> These are my recipes! <laughs> I feel very tired, but I can't look up how to rest. <laughs> um, maybe don't eat your cookbook? When I accidentally shredded her secret life advice cookbook, it's almost like I shredded her brain. And all that she's done since then is go, I'm tired, but I can't remember how to rest. I feel very tired. <laughs> hmm. Call me crazy, but could she be tired? She needs a restful place to rest. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that fresh air's restful, right? What a restful blue sky. Uh -huh. I wish I knew how to rest. Um. 
Perhaps a high-speed wheelbarrow ride isn't restful enough? But what would be? Huh. At times like this, I wish life had an instruction manual. Well, here's one. Put this here. Beat out the dust, but try not to dislodge the whole pile. All right, but a pile of what? Don't know. That's all it said. <laughs> I feel so very tired. There's no dust. Moving on. Next one says give it water every three days. Done already. Put in lots of fertilizer. Yep, done that already. Uh -huh. Look. Keep in a dark place, well out of the reach of children. So very tired. Wish I knew how to rest. So very tired. Wish I knew how to rest. So very tired. I wish... Oh. Uh... Rosa! I'm here! Take out a fresh notebook, please. <laughs> Write this down. Recipe one. For a good rest, first, lay on the ground. Spread your wings out. And then lie and lie and lie. And after we carry the 12 into the square root of gravity, we get half the speed of light divided by negative zero. So it becomes obvious <laughs> that such a thing cannot be done. <laughs> so you're saying you can't jump into the sun? No, Crash, but, you can't. Uh... Oh, it's fine. You win. <laughs> oh. That's just an obvious fact. <sighs> Like how we breathe air, or the Earth is round. Hang on. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> you think the Earth is round? <laughs> For real? Like some kind of ball? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> it's been scientifically proven. <laughs> right, Mr. Round Earther. Let me show you what Earth really looks like. <laughs> Take a look. Everyone knows that the Earth is flat like a giant cookie. That's on top of three elephants. And they stand on a polka-dotted turtle whose name is Henry. <laughs> that's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> hey, no, stop. You can't really think that's right. <laughs> I've never heard of anything more absurd or incorrect in all my years. Really? Because I got a lot more where that came from. <laughs> Please, listen to me. I can't let your ignorance run rampant. Here. Now, what do you call this? <laughs> That's a weird basketball. Why is it stuck to this stick thing, huh? That's how I know you don't play sports. Uh, wrong again, my uneducated, long-eared friend. This is a globe. It's what our planet looks like. No turtles in sight. Anyone could have painted that thing. Doesn't prove the Earth is round. <laughs> So you're still unconvinced, huh? Unbelievable. Take a gander at this, if you will. A photo of our very round Earth, taken from far out in space. That paper the... looks pretty flat. I'm still right. Do and you... look, the shadow of an elephant. You're turning my antlers gray. This has all been proven. They've known the Earth is round for hundreds of years. That's all just fake news. If that's true, why don't the people underneath fall right off? Look, I'm basically a scientist. Things don't fall off because the Earth has gravity! <laughs> so, understand? If I can't understand it, it's probably not true. Plus, turtles are way cooler. How dare you go around denying science! Ancient philosophers gave their lives for this discovery! Their lives! Oh, yeah? How do you know that really happened? <laughs> you know... It's sad to make up facts. Hmm. Hey, what's up? Don't tell me you believe the Earth is round, too. I really haven't thought too much about things like that. But sometimes I get this weird feeling we're all just someone else's creation and that we're constantly being watched from over there. Um, what? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Watched. <laughs> Just as I thought, I am the only one with any sense. I should really be a scientist. I should go and prove my theories. And, um, how will you do that? That'll be easy. I'll go to the edge of the Earth and take a picture of the turtle. All right, looks like I'm off. This shouldn't take too long. Ah, our tops. 
Wait, wait! You need someone to pack up your story. After all, how else can we prove you're right? Hey, good idea! Now I don't have to take a selfie. Yeah, I can't wait to see the look on Taco's face when I show him the turtles holding up the Earth. He'll be all like, look how genius Crash is. Phenomenal! <laughs> Uh, uh, so, uh, what if it turns out there really is no turtle? I can't. We have to stop. I'm calling it. It's just too far. M maybe... Maybe there is no turtle. But, Chico, how will I prove I'm right? We must be close to the end of the Earth by now. Here, eat this. I'll be back too. What? What if Taco's right? And the Earth is, you know, round. You know what I mean? It's possible. No! No way! The Earth is not round! How weird would that be? Just a random ball floating in space? I mean, does he think I'm an idiot? I mean, really? Next he'll tell me the moon isn't made of cheese or that invisible animals make us sick! Ridiculous! <sighs> Chico! Wake up! Wake up! Uh, We've made it! Uh, it's the end of the world! Uh, what? What's up? Oh, we're definitely headed toward the edge! Oh, this is so cool! Oh, camera! Get the camera! Uh, oh, oh, man, I took that from Pin! Looks uh, like we have bigger problems! <laughs> wow, we you see this? Awesome. Holy carrots. The thing is, after this, no one will believe us. Crash it was totally Butterflies today. I don't even know where to begin. Are you good at jumping? Depends what for. There is no point in jumping for something silly. But on the other hand, if the purpose is a good one, then of course I can jump. Huh. The purpose is good. The technique is bad. I can't jump, no matter what. You need proper training. I know. But how? The question is not how. The question is, with whom? Point your toes, aim your hoops, lengthen your stride. Just watch the butterflies. From one flower to another, from one flower to another, from one to another. The most important thing about the long jump is the kick-off. You kick off using your legs, you do the run-up using your legs as well. Using the proper technique, your long jump will be a long jump. Hmm. 
Last night, I did some calculations uh, here, and I found the best angle for the kickoff. Understand? Hmm. Go higher. Mm. Lower. <laughs> Still a little lower. <laughs> nah, now a little higher, and I think you've got the perfect angle. <laughs> I knew it! When the angle is just right, you fly a lot further! <laughs> Did you cross the foul line? Did you? I don't think so. You can't step over the foul line, because then the entire jump doesn't count. You have to count your exact steps like this as you do the run-up. You absolutely can't cross the line! <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> you understand? <laughs> Wally, is that you? Huh? Oh. Yes, it's me. You got struck, and then you... fainted. You okay? <sighs> I'm fine. It's nothing. Why aren't you out there training? But you're sick. Uh, yeah, so what? <coughs> it's uh, nothing. So now then, show me your run-up. <laughs> Very good. Mm -hmm. Now your takeoff. Mm -hmm. uh. hmm. Now, in the air? <coughs> When you're in the air, throw your arms forward. Got it? Oh, water. Taco, how are you feeling? Much better. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I'm here! <laughs> Aha! Got you! Well, so? Should we go practice? I don't jump anymore. You don't jump? No. I gave it up. I didn't tell you while you were sick because I didn't want to upset you. <laughs> well, I have to go! That's a great technique. Is there a purpose? Well, no. games like girl ones which games could that be well for example dolls or like a tea party you know you should just leave the sports to the guys <laughs> you only say that because i always win and you always lose -uh. chico hang on i'm talking to her i'm saying it because it makes me so sad watching you waste away your childhood playing games for boys uh, no. It's what I like to do. But you like playing dolls just as much. Just give it a try. I don't even have dolls. I can make one. For now, Chico can be your doll. You'll be the mama, and Chico will be the daughter. I mean, son. <laughs> Why should I be the son? Because I'm off to make the doll. But wait. What am I supposed to do? 
I don't know. You're the girl. Use your maternal instinct or whatever. Have fun. Good luck, Chico. Take care of him? So are you hungry? Yeah, that's a great idea. I can eat. More? More? Uh, no, thank you. Hold on, please. Here you go. And now it's time to brush your teeth and go to bed. But uh, I don't want to go to bed. I know better what you want and what you don't want. Who knows better than Mom? Huh. Okay, I'll teach her how to play girl games. <sighs> Crash. <sighs> Crash. <sighs> hey, Chico. What happened to you? Huh? Look, just don't ask. Tell me, how soon can you make a doll for Rosa? Because I can't take it anymore. Everything is almost ready. Huh? Rock a five baby on the treetop. Chico, didn't I tell you to walk near the house? Where did you run off to? You don't listen. And now I'm really upset with you. Why is my son such a troublemaker? You see, look what I'm up against. All right, there's your doll. Where are you going? Come back right now! Wear a hat! It's cold out! It's clear we shouldn't have started this game in the first place. This could get ugly. It's okay, she'll live. The maternal instinct is a powerful force. <laughs> Crash, I am fine with you being friends with Chico, but you must not be a bad influence on him. He's become moody and unresponsive. He doesn't even eat his food. And worst of all, he doesn't listen. Now give me back my son! Let go. You've gone totally nuts. And you're ungrateful. Get back here now. Can't you see that you're breaking my heart? Oh, hold on there. What's the matter? So, you know, I won't be able to talk with Rosa. I'm going to let you play girl games. So, I gave her a doll, but gave her Chico instead. But now, she wants Chico for herself. <laughs> That's incredible. <clears throat> you may have taken the game a bit too far. I'll explain everything to you. You see, well, what anyone's going to play, and they want to destroy these humans, but when they try to run, then you do that. So, they, of course, they don't really realize it's something because so you're going to do that, then... <gasps> <gasps> Oh, oh, my goodness. It's quite difficult to explain anything at all to her right now. She's upset, and the best thing to do is to, you know, play along. Oh, oh not me. I can't. Oh, come on, just do it. Look, she's hurting inside. It's not that hard. Oh, Chico, you gotta be patient for once. Look. She'll play with you some more, but eventually she'll get tired of you. Hopefully one of her other instincts will kick in. The prodigal son. So touching. Just wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, do you want to play, Daco? <sighs> Let's do it. <laughs> You're way worse than Rosa. <laughs> and when you grow up, I'll enroll you in an arts program. <laughs> Oh, come on, Mom. Anyone old enough to know how it feels to not jump as high with each passing year knows that a birthday is a touchy thing. It may be hard to believe, but some people might not have the slightest desire to celebrate at all, or the smallest urge to invite people over. 
Well, that is unless they all came over by coincidence. Mommy! <laughs> You're cold! Come on. <laughs> I gotcha. Calm down! Not cool. My dear Carlin, if it's true no one cares about you, then you won't be missed. I will make you disappear. Signed... Anonymous. Hey! Carlin! Carlin! Look! Look at that! Dear Carlin, no one cares for you. You won't be missed. Anonymous. Who's anonymous? What kind of nonsense is that? Well, it is quite clear that we all agree none of us could have written this. So a legitimate question arises. Who's the one that did do it? Has anyone noticed anything strange lately? Strangers. Perhaps, in our midst? What is... Anonymous? Anonymous means someone who is unknown or unidentified. It could be anyone. But what have I done to him? Now, don't you worry, my good friend. We won't let you get taken by this anonymous character. Yes, but even still, what did I do to him? We will make sure that you are safe, then we'll identify the anonymous and his motives. No matter what, we will make sure this anonymous will not be able to make you disappear. What's going on? Uh, nothing much. How are the bushes? I've looked. No anonymous. We're going to need more light. So the Ellen won't get away. Sleep. You go ahead and sleep. I'll keep watch. So, tell me honestly, do you have any enemies? Maybe someone that is jealous of you? Well, I guess that makes sense. But I have no enemies. Everyone always loves me so much. All of them. Sometimes, of course, they forget about that. <laughs> Hmm, interesting. Come, look at this. <laughs> this anonymous note is written on a page from this calendar. And if anonymous wrote on a page from this calendar, that means that he's been here. Huh? Yeah. What? <gasps> Come, let's go. Move, move, move. Now. <laughs> hey, if anything happens, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. He can't get us now. We're safe from him. I guarantee. And we're glad. And even though it might be dangerous... We want to wish our Carlin a very happy birthday! <laughs> Nothing much stylish! Of course! The greatest guy! Happy birthday, dear Carlin! Thank you, but my birthday was yesterday. It's gone past. Sorry. What do you mean? Today is the 10th. The 10th was yesterday. Happy belated birthday? Uh, oh, no! It's the tenth today, my friend. You see, you tore two pages off the calendar at the same time, so you missed a day. Eh, what an old fool. I thought everyone forgot that it was my birthday. Shush. Anonymous might be listening. He doesn't exist. I'm anonymous. <laughs> I sat there by myself. Who came? No one. We were all out getting gifts for today. I didn't know. 
I was sure that no one needs me anymore. So I thought that... Carlin, how on earth could you have Look, thought that? Look, it's true. I'm to blame. I know that. No, you're not anonymous. You are much, much worse than that. And you know it. Guys, I'm sorry. Tell you what, come to my place. Huh? Where's this? Ah! Carlin! This is a place there! Anonymous could never find us! I guarantee! Beauty can be found in almost anything. We don't need fancy things or expensive things to live. We don't need to be the best at everything or win gold medals for every activity we've tried. I've never won a medal. Uh, but anyway, uh, the point is, our needs in life are simple. All we need to do is find the beauty in the little things we love. <sighs> Beautiful. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a rabbit by its toe. Pigs are fast and hedgehogs slow. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Uh... I didn't say start. I didn't finish all the verses yet. Uh, to the pastry shop we'll go. Uh, something, 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 eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Why do I even try? <sighs> Hide before I count to ten, or you'll have to try again. One, two... Three, four. I know where we should hide. Five, you can't find six. anything at Daco's place. <laughs> One time, I went over for a book, and we never found it. You read? I can, and try. But we never found the book, Chico. Ready or not, here I come. That was definitely longer than ten seconds, I think. Oh. Hiya, Daco. Hmm. Afternoon. Yes, right. Do come on in. Over here! Uh, I can't put my hoof on it. Something's off. Just something not quite right. What? What's off? I hung up the most beautiful thing. But something seems odd. <laughs> Up there. Hmm. Could you put it up any higher? <laughs> I sure hope you have a set of binoculars. You are exactly right, my genius rabbit friend. I will go get my telescope. Uh, why not move the picture closer? <laughs> a little to the right. No, right. Uh -huh. left. Right. <laughs> well, look who won the game, huh? Look who won again. Oh, hey, Daco. Crash. Earth to crash. Huh? Not right now. <laughs> oh, that's much better. Oh, yes. Better my hoof. It matches the wall. It blends in. Nothing says a modern interior like white walls. It also makes it easier to see art. Soon we'll have this pad looking beautiful. Uh, um, you're getting more than the walls. Beauty means sacrifice. <laughs> hey, I've been looking for this for years now. Hold this. Can one of you hammer a nail into this wall? I don't feel like it. Now, please. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
evening. Ah, uh, yeah. It's really peaceful, isn't it? Huh? Oh. Uh, this is just like, oh. um, modern art. An open-air sunroom. Ah, <sighs> wow. What a modern house design, isn't it? Yes. Beautiful. It's intoxicating. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come, you little bunch of scallywags. Ah-ha-ha! -ha! So you thought you could hide by that screen. What's that? Thought you were exempt from playing the game? Oh, no. Knock, knock. <laughs> Listen, I have a problem of a delicate nature. Something's wrong. What is it? I think my bristles are all falling off. Okay, jump a little. Looks to me like everything's just fine. It can't be. I know it. My bristles, they're thinning. Oh, come on. Why are you so worried? I don't have any bristles. Here. No. I've never had them. And I have an awesome life. Oh. Everything's like it always is. Oh, wait, no! Chico's bristles are falling out! You don't say. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen a bald hedgehog in my entire life. <laughs> I know! When did it start? <laughs> no idea. Chico! <laughs> ha! You don't look so bad. <laughs> I thought you'd be totally bald. <laughs> Show me that tuft, will you? No, thanks. I'll have a look and see how your bristles are falling out. Maybe you ate something. They are not falling out. They're not falling out? Well, Crash said that. Uh, you, uh... Oh, well, Crash, huh? His tongue's like a brook, because it's always babbling. You know, Barry, I'm a very busy hedgehog. It was nice seeing you. Crash, would you mind a moment of your time? I told you that I had the most delicate of problems. But you, you told everyone. I thought you were my friend, but huh? you're a blabberer. But Chico, what's wrong? I will never be able to trust you with anything. Never again, because your tongue has no bones. What'd I do? What's the point of having friends if we can't discuss each other with each other? No bones? Uh. Hey there, Chico! How are you? I don't even know what to tell you. What if I don't want everyone to know how I am? What if I don't feel like sharing anything about myself? You tell the truth. You never know what people are going to say about you. That's why it's better to talk about something else. Like the weather. The great weather. There's no wind. Oh, the sun. The sun. Isn't it great? <laughs> Maybe you should go and find some shade. You've had too much sun. Uh, same old tongue. No bones. Why would my tongue have bones? Uh, it shouldn't have any. Hello. Oh, ow, my tongue. There he 
he is. Poor little thing. Patient, prepare yourself. We're going to examine you <laughs> to see what's falling out and what's not. Well, let's see. Look up. Good. Wonderful. Open your mouth wider. Wider. Like that. Good. Good. Well, what a tale you're spinning. You've been far too worried. He's a healthy hedgehog. If there is anything falling out of him, well, it's beyond me. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's just great. It was nothing, and he told everyone. <laughs> hey, wait, guys. Did you see that? Oh... If you must tell everyone about everything, here's some news. Today, I skipped a pebble over the water 20 times. Please, go and tell anyone you wish. Mm, I don't think I'll be telling anyone, Chica. What? What's wrong with you? I bit my tongue. When it shouldn't, your tongue never stops wagging. When it should, nothing. <laughs> Does it hurt? Uh-uh, uh-uh. Will you tell us? When it heals? I don't want anyone to know. Of course. Don't worry about a thing. <laughs> it's our secret. Ah, my oh. bones. <laughs> You're just tired. You've been using your brain too much. Use something else, like your feet. Yes, that's it. You need to take up running. I'm a poet. My job is to write poems, not... To run. But a change will do you some good. But will I be able to write again? Are you sure that I will find inspiration? As clear as day. And how long should I run for? Until you regain your zest for life. <laughs> I take off running down the street, street, street. I lift my legs and move my feet, feet, feet. Look out if you can't take the heat, heat, heat. Here comes an athlete on the go. Hey, Wally! My bold exhilarating run, run, run. We'll be the talk of everyone, one, one. And out here breathing in the sun, sun, sun. I'll send you all a big hello. Whoever dreamt this up was great, great, great. That when your mind just can't think straight, straight, straight. And your work's got you so irate, rate, rate. That now your head is full of goo, goo, goo. Just go and lift your legs up high, high, high. And kiss those manners all goodbye, bye, bye. And there's no need for asking why, why, why. Run anywhere your feet take you. Wally! I'm here! You passed the object of your affection! The object of his affection, my dear girl, is to create art. To create art and to be inspired. Me nothing here at all, all, all. No need for trophies, big or small, small, small. That you could hang up on your wall, wall, wall. Or just donate them for display. What really matters in the end, end, end. Is feeling muscles stretch and bend, bend, bend. The admiration from your friends, 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 and folks you meet along the way. Here, I put extra sugar in it. You need all the energy you can get. Here, drink it. 
Maybe I, I should start running too. This will be a masterpiece. When he stops running and starts writing, he'll create a masterpiece. Your breathing is steady, your pulse is normal, no problems whatsoever. <laughs> what about inspiration? He'll run into inspiration in no time. <sighs> wow, wow, wow. What a creation by pet transportation. What a creation by pet transportation. Here, yes, here, put it down here. Good. It's not enough. We need more. He'll be writing for a long, long time. Each mile he runs will conjure up the most beautiful verses. <gasps> Wally has disappeared. Huh? What do you mean, disappeared? He probably just took a different route. I'm telling you, he's gone. We continue our coverage of the most important marathon of the year. The best runners from all over the world have just crossed the finish line. And now we have a chance to ask the new champion a few questions. This athlete who triumphantly earned himself a place in the running hall of fame was a virtual unknown last season. Wally, tell us how do you train for your races? What do you do in your spare time? What's the secret of your success? <laughs> oh, what do I do in my spare time? Well, in between runs, I write little poems. <laughs> it's nothing special, but it's a change, and it does the body good. Well, Chico, it looks like we cleaned it all up. Yes, looks like we have. All right. I wonder. Where will all of our garbage float to? Does it really matter? The important thing is, it'll end up far away from our beach. The sea is huge! Bon voyage, trash! Holy carrots! There's something really weird out there. And it looks like it's headed right for us. What? Is the sky falling? Alien invasion? What's happening? Hey, Earth to Carlin, take a look over there. Well, poach my egg. Yep, that's bad. Hmm. Hmm. Some kind of industrial waste. Well, congratulations. We've got ourselves an environmental catastrophe. 
But where did it come from? Do you think... Well, some bird brain dumped it in the ocean. Industrial waste, eh? Then Pin must be the culprit. I can't believe you thought I'd do something like that. You think I don't know how bad it is for the ocean to have industrial waste dumped into it? Our ocean is ruined! It's just so horrible! Then someone else dumped the chemicals? Some awful person dumped it in, then the spill floated to our beach! We have to clean it up as fast as we can, before it turns our shoreline into a tar pit! <clears throat> Whew! This is our 15th full bathtub of slime! Garland, how you doing? There's no end to this icky swill. It's like the noxious thing's getting bigger faster than we can get it out of there. I'm afraid that Carlin's right. It keeps getting bigger. Blast! Where on earth is this stuff coming from? Down there somewhere. Come and take a look. But where did it come from? Someone's been dumping it here for a very long time. Telling themselves the sea is big. A few barrels couldn't possibly hurt the whole ocean. Who would do such a lousy thing? If this dusty stuff keeps on leaking out of all those barrels, before much longer, our beautiful lagoon is going to look like a big shoe polish can. We fix this. Wake up, Mr. Brain. Now think. Hmm? Eureka! I've got it. When I was young, I fell in love with a feather duster. Hey, look out here. The channel's all clear ahead. But the duster was betrothed to a bellow. So where are you planning to put all that terrible stuff? We are going to get rid of it. But how? With fire. It's burning pretty well. Good riddance. Oh, oh, yeah, you're right. Do you think that we'll find it? Of course we will. The sea seems bigger than it is, but we'll find it. Dude, look! In reality, the sea is small enough that nothing disappears in it without leaving a trace. <laughs> Hello there. My name is Cornelia, a name known for being both noble and pleasing to the ears. Anyone who's well-read could tell you that princesses and proud ladies are typically named... Cornelia. Cornelias are extremely smart, are in command of their fate, and affect history. Well now, do you finally understand who you're dealing with? Watch out! Here comes trouble! Come on, do your worst. Aw, oh, man! Lucky block! Here I come! <laughs> nice try, Chico! Crash is almost to the goal! Time to shoot! <laughs> <laughs> Tough luck! Looks oh, like Crash missed! Dear. Poor Crash! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna need you, Chico! Oh. 
Hey, Rosa, can you kick the ball back, please? Kick the ball back. Come on, Rosa, just kick it over. For your information, my name is no longer Rosa. I have evolved. If there is something you wish to ask me, or you would like to pay me a compliment, then you must address me as Cornelia. And now, if you'll follow me, I'll teach you how to play games that will help you increase your intellect to a decent level. Uh, yeah. Crash rushes forward. What are you scared of? Huh? Nothing. Let's <laughs> move. <laughs> Thank you. Watch this. Oh, I'm watching. Oh, wow. <laughs> Why aren't you happy? Let's play together and have fun. Let's play tag. Crash. Now you listen here, Cornelia. I'm no longer Cornelia. Now I'm Jaconda, which of course means joyous and full of laughter. <laughs> Lucky you, I've come to cure your boredom. Oh, oh dear, your joy and laughter really took a toll on my face. Crash, we need to pick up the pace. Look over there. It's joyous Jaconda and she's running toward us. <laughs> <laughs> No, no more fun. Please, I'll take boredom. My poor Chico got injured. There, there. It'll be okay. Chikanda? <gasps> My name is Eleanor. Let's see, it's right here. Eleanor, known for compassion. That sounds about right to me. Well, I guess this time we need to look up the name that means abnormally cold. Nope. Inga! Winter-like. <laughs> hmm, apple-like, apple-like. Is it apple-like? My name is now Ephraim, which means fruitful. Are you sure? Because Ephraim is a male name. <sighs> well, I'll be. Why are you following us? Do you mean me? I'm Amina. And my name means loyalty. And my name is Crash, which means will you please stop following us? <laughs> <laughs> I guess everyone should call you by your new name now, one that means covered in mud. <laughs> huh? uh, I don't know what to do. What name is best for me? All of them have something that fits. How could I possibly choose just one and give up all of the others? <laughs> After all, I am submissive, and I am tranquil, I can be merciful, and I'm beautiful. Also victorious, and so passionate, and winter-like, and immensely rich, as well as, what was it now? Gertrude, yes, strong with a spear! Don't worry, we'll think of something. Chico, right? You're still named Chico, <laughs> aren't you? Refer to me as boss and you won't go wrong. Uh, Felicia, that one means happy. That sounds right. Okay, Felicia. Adelia, it means noble. Absolutely. Uh-huh, Adelia or Odelia. Nah, eh, whatever. Isolde? Ah, uh, it's all dark. I asked. Will you slow down? I can't keep up with you. Just give it to me. There. Henceforth, you shall be known as Emily, Augusta, Susanna, Juliet, Gloria, Danielle, Inara, Valerie, Eloise, Jennifer, Chanel, Aurora. Angelica, Hedviga, Nora, Elvira, Elizabeth, Tempira, Liana, Diana, Veronica, Ariadna, Victoria, Teresa, <laughs> Maria, Esmeralda, Isabella, Cornelia. <sighs> Cornelia. Oh, you done? Done. Let's go. Well, uh, but... What about Emily? Uh, Augusta? Uh, Juliet? Uh, what is she called? There's no need to be so formal. <laughs> My close friends can call me Rosa. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Who? 
The creation of a great work of art is a combination of many different factors. In order to get the creative juices flowing, an artist must work in the proper environment, preferably one with adequate lighting, pleasing temperatures, and most importantly, plenty of quiet. When all these factors are in place, then an artist is free to toil and dream, wander and wonder, and ultimately create a masterpiece. <laughs> End of part one. Ooh. Wally! Hey, Wally! Crash and I were playing catch, and he threw the last pitch a bit too high. And I tried to grab it, but it went over the fence, mm -hmm. and I couldn't. You okay, Wally? My poems. What's that? I think he wants us to preserve his poems. I promise you, I won't let them forget Wally. <laughs> it's gone. I had it, but the inspiration is gone. If only, if only I could remember. The muse is gone. I have no hope. No hope. <laughs> Why? You idiot. Inspiration is rare. It doesn't just drop from the sky. <laughs> it doesn't, huh? In order to write a perfect poem, one must create the perfect atmosphere. Only then may inspiration reveal itself. I'd nearly found the perfect word. And then your dumb ball came and knocked it right out of my brain. Don't worry, Wally. We'll take care of everything. Get comfy. Use some paper. Everything's perfect. Nope, it's not. Before you came, there was a honeybee buzzing in those bushes. Voila! <laughs> Ye gods, is this really happening? Okay, cut! Wally, I think I got it. You need atmosphere, and that means I'm your bunny. Hey, Chico, help me out here, will ya? How do we start, Wally? Writing requires concentration. I'd like some quiet, please. Hello? Oh, now that certainly is quiet, isn't it? Maybe too quiet. Okay! Ah. Perhaps I'll feel cooler in the shade. <laughs> no good. I just can't ride outside. Inside would be better. Maybe a little too cramped. I think I have claustrophobia. I'm a little precarious up here. Too damp. Too hot. Mm. Mm. Aw, oh, come on, Wally. Don't give up. You just can't. You're a genius. When I hear your poems, <laughs> oh, I get shivers just thinking about how you make good words. Thank you, my good friend, but I'm afraid those days are gone. I once composed a lyric a day, but now my days are futile, empty, and hopeless. Oh, muse, return again. Oh, beauty. Man, what a bummer. Hey, fellas, mm -hmm. what's going on? Well, Barry, it's kind of a long story. This morning, Wally was out writing one of his poems when this joker over here missed a fly ball and it hit poor Wally. And that's when we damaged his muse. Oh, don't you worry, Wally. As a fellow artist myself, I know just the thing you need. Mm -hmm. Everybody, come on, come on! <laughs> Hey. Ah! Quiet! <laughs> I've got nothing. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I'm finished. Doomed. I am not a poet. I am a spurious fraud. Wally, slow down! Don't talk like that, Wally. It's not true. I can't go on any longer. Life means nothing to me. Nothing! <laughs> Oh, pale moon, you mock me, for you do not enter my pen, but only my heart. 
That sure is poetic. Yeah, Wally. That's great. Penetrating. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Au revoir, mon ami. Uh, Wally! <laughs> Lo, the moon there shining. Lo, the glow. So calm. Mm. Water that reflects as a mirror. The night. See the moon <laughs> dancing in the waves. Your loneliness is mine to share. What do you think? The mm. ending's a downer. No, it isn't. It is a poem. And it tells the truth. Not just some sentimental drivel. I am a poet once again! A real poet! My muse has returned! She has returned to inspire me! Of course, a genius is never uninspired for very long. Poetry exhausts me. Let's go home. Around. It's time to get started. Hey. Uh, 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 hi there. Now then, we need state of the art rest and recreation facilities. It's time we build our very own amusement park. Yeah! <laughs> All, right. All right. Slide, please. We'll have swings, merry-go-rounds, a fun house, and a house of... Pancakes? No. <clears throat> a house of horrors. But there's really nothing horrible about it. It'll be just like the fun house, but there'll be a different kind of fun. But for right now, I shall assign tasks to each one of you, and we'll start on them tomorrow. Chico and I can work on the house of... Horrors? <laughs> but, uh, what do you mean by different kind of fun, Carlin? That means right before you start laughing, you're a little scared. Where do I put it? Where does this thing go? So what about this thing? Anywhere in particular? Where? So, how's it going? We have a couple of good ideas. They seem really scary, too. But we're not really sure if <laughs> it's funny enough. Well, let's find out. Well, ain't that a stinger? Where am I supposed to put this thing? All right, then. Picture this in your head. Visitors walk in and see absolutely nothing, except this old picture of Chico. The picture itself is funny and a little scary, but that's not all. As the visitor comes in for a closer look at the picture, we jump out from behind and scare him! Well, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we should try it out on a guinea pig. What do I have to do? Don't worry, they'll tell you. Uh, guys, I hear you need someone to help you. Hello? Where are you? Oh, Chico. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Sleepy. <laughs> like he got up, but forgot to wake up. <laughs> Who can have made such a weird portrait of him? <laughs> what a klutz. <laughs> yes! He's so scared! So, uh, was it funny? Very funny. Yes, it's approved, boys. <laughs> We're still gonna have to come up with something else, though. <laughs> Carlin, listen to me. I think all our construction woke up all the ghosts that are around here. Just relax. 
Ghosts don't exist. You probably won't believe it, but I've seen them with my own two eyes. What you saw <clears throat> was just Crash and Chico dressed in costumes. But don't spoil the surprise for everybody else. Uh, yeah? And what about this one? Ho <laughs> ho It's their new idea! You like it? Crash! Chico! What's up, Carly? Uh. I told you we woke the ghosts up. Let's get out of here! Our project ahead of schedule, so we decided to help out Crash and Chico by creating these monsters for the House of Horrors. Well, <laughs> well, huh? What do you think? We used all of the latest technology in these. Do you approve? <laughs> No, no, and no, it's not approved. It's scary. No, no, not funny. It's well known that Pin was only interested in reading books that dealt with cars and all kinds of machinery. But one night, by chance, Pin came across a book that had neither sketches nor boring figures. Instead, it talked about unusual heroes that found themselves in amazing adventures. It was so peculiar that it was difficult for Pin to stop reading, and he kept reading the whole night. When he finished, he had absolutely no time for a good night's rest. He had an important job scheduled for 7 a.m., and it was too late to reschedule. <laughs> So, uh, here's the wheat, and there's the buckwheat, and I think two circles should be just about enough for each field. Drop it so it germinates evenly. Okay? Do you got it? Of course. Uh, yeah, off you go! Uh, uh, uh. If you dream to be a pilot, you are obviously brave, since it takes a lot of courage to decide to fly a plane, since it is the bravest people that enjoy the soaring heights. When they hear that off you go now, they rush off to start to fly. Off, off, off you go. Off, off, off you go. A pilot's job's all about flying, and they have to do it well. Sure to always be well rested, not to sleep while well at the helm. When, my friend, it comes to flying, keep in mind you are in charge. You must take wing without crashing. It's your duty to discharge. That's good. Yeah, that's good. One more time. Off you go. Off. Drop it. Drop it. Understand what's happening. Good for staying healthy, and good health is what we need. So once you are up in the air, though, a million yeah. problems you will meet. Up above the clouds are floating, down below you see your speed. You can fly on autopilot. Now's your chance to make some dreams. Off, off, off you go. 
Seven meters per second with a possibility of rain. Hmm? I've heard of fly fishing, but. Barry, hey! What the heck is going on here? Yes, Barry, what is happening? <clears throat> if you would, please. I don't understand what's going on here. <laughs> Something wrong with Pan. Off, off you go. Sleep is good for staying healthy, and good health is what we need. Once you are up in the air, though, a million problems you will meet. Up above the clouds are floating, down below you see your speed. You can fly on autopilot, now's your chance to make some dreams. Off, off, well, off you go. Off, 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 you go. Pin, wake Pin, up! Wake up! Wake up, wake up now! Since it takes a lot of courage to decide Good morning, sleepyhead. Go! The bravest people that enjoy the soaring heights. When they hear that off you go, now they rush up to start to fly! Off, you go. I'm getting too old for this stuff. Oh boy. According to this here, the force on an aircraft is related to a change in fluid momentum. V multiplied by the value M, the sum, which divided by the distance of the fluid traveled over time across the streamlined body. Oh man, what a bunch of nutty hokum. <laughs> I'm reading, I'm reading. Aerodynamic force is equal to the mass flow rate times the velocity. In books, characters end up in scary predicaments and everything ends up fine. In real life, however, something happens and we're still subject to the laws of physics. To tell you the truth, when I planted this tree, uh, I really didn't believe that it would bear any fruit. You know, because the tree was so small and so helpless. To be honest, it all seemed so pointless at the time. Uh, I remember there was one time I was even thinking of giving up, forgetting the tree altogether. But look how pretty this tree is now. <laughs> such beauty and such joy. Are you going to be digging around in that dirt much longer? Hold your horses. If you really huh? want a tree to grow up right, then you have huh? to make sure to plant it right. Do right. Well, do you know how long it takes to grow? How long? Probably a hundred years, man. Well, I heard it's more like five or six at the most, but it'll definitely have cherries on it in seven years. Yeah? Are you still even going to like cherries in seven years? People's tastes can change a lot in seven years, you know. Like, seven years ago, I liked it when I got hugged and cuddled. Now I could care less. But that's different. Seven years ago, you were just a little baby. Now you're not. In seven years, you're going to be bigger. I mean, we're all going to be grown-ups by then, and then you'll be allowed to do the stuff that makes no sense at all. <laughs> Like planting cherries, or whatever. Look, the point is, we don't have time for that. Our childhood is slipping away. Childhood is the best time of your life, and you have to use it wisely. What are you going to say in 20 years when someone asks you what you did as a kid? You know? Oh, you're going to say, I spent seven years watching a tree grow. <laughs> Come on, we're going to the beach. No arguing. What a 
a downpour. I hope my cherry pit doesn't get washed away. No, holy carrots! We spent half the day with that cherry pit. I thought we decided we'd hit the beach in the morning. Oh boy. And what will happen if the tree grows, but it never has any cherries on it? Looks like a cherry tree, just with no cherries. How's that possible? There'll be cherries. And what if there isn't? Well, then it'd be okay, too. Just a tree's not too bad. You can sit under it with friends on a hot day or in the rain. If the tree were all grown up, we wouldn't be getting wet right now. You can hang out with your friends at home, too, if you've got any. But trees are not friends. They're attached to the ground by their roots. And unlike that tree, your friends can get up and leave, Chico. And they won't wait around forever. All right, take it easy. I'm almost done with this. Okay, let's go get dry. <clears throat> hmm? Hmm? Huh? It kind of looks like it's dead. No, it is not dead. Huh? Although, I think I may have dug the hole in the wrong place to plant the tree. It's so hot here all day, and it's all just clay and sand. You're, uh, turning into a serious tree geek, man. We have to replant it. Uh, do you mean now? We were gonna fly this kite! Because of this tree of yours, I haven't had a life for the last two months! Do we play soccer on Saturdays? No, because you have to water it! Did we stop playing with our sailboats on a windy day? Yes, we did! Why? Because there was too much wind and we had to protect your green friend here! And did we build a sand castle? That's a no! We didn't even get to swim in the river! Time is passing us by, and what are we spending it on? On a stupid tree! I'll come by later. Don't bother, I'm better off alone. If you think I'll always come help you with whatever nonsense you come up with, you're wrong. And when your tree is grown in seven years, you can sit underneath it alone. Because you won't have any friends left. Woohoo! Alone is the way to be! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> Chico! The tree! Come on, Chico! Come on, tree! Hurry up, Chico! Go get a bucket or a lid or something! I'll cover the tree! going. Hmm. Thank you, Crash. tree saplings instead of pits, they'll grow much faster. Good. But why are you planting so many? Because if you spend your childhood right, then by the time you're grown up, you'll have a bunch of friends. So many that there won't be enough space for all of them to sit under the same tree. That's why we can't plant just one tree. We need enough so that by the time we're adults, we can have a whole cherry orchard. Got it? Huh. Don't just sit there. Help me plant. Oh, my! Well, ain't that a stanger? Who trimmed my tree like that? It doesn't even look like a cherry tree, more like a cypress or something. You've probably noticed that sometimes the world that was once so bright and vibrant suddenly loses all its colors and becomes dull and gray. In such moments, you most likely get scared and don't understand what's happened. And, if by chance, you were to learn that one person is responsible for all of it, you would definitely become very angry with that person. Go ahead. Get mad. All of this is my fault. <sighs> the thing is, when I'm in a not-so-good mood, the whole world around me becomes gloomy and colorless. How am I supposed to know what this thing is? If it's a squash, it should be green or maybe yellow. And if it's an eggplant, then it should be purple. And my apples, how can I be sure that they're ready for picking? Everything is gray. 
Yeah, and I fell down. And I can't figure out if I'm all covered in blood, or is this just mud? Rosa, enough already. Look, you were sad. Now get over it. I told you. This is all beyond my control. It's true. My mood has more swings than a playground in a public park. I go from happy to sad. But why do we have to suffer? You're telling me, the scientist, that it's beyond your control? Everything in this world has cause and effect. My scientific formulas show the effect, and you're the cause! <sighs> Rosa, you can see it for yourself. Not only is it all looking bleak, but everything is in total chaos. Is this grass? Last time I checked, grass was green. This is a shade of who knows what. And as for the weather... I, uh, did mix up the red wire with the blue wire. Huh? What am I supposed to do about it? Well, try to liven up a bit. Just a little. We beg you, please. Try it. We'll help you. Let's do it. Let's do it together. We need to come up with a strategic plan now, people. We must raise Rosa's spirits and make sure they stay that way. I could revive my stand-up routine, but with my bad back, I'm not able to stand up for very long. It would be helpful if we can find out how far this black and whiteness has spread. It's spread everywhere. I've contacted governments from all over the world, and there's panic in their black and white capitals. <gasps> Traffic lights aren't working. Uh -huh. Oh, just a second. It seems that the people have started to calm down a bit because they figured out that the cause of the problem is here. They're setting up an international committee to try and get Rosa back into a good mood of the highest quality. They're saying they want to make her the princess of our entire galaxy. <laughs> Being made princess of an entire galaxy doesn't happen every day. You may want to think about, oh, I don't know, <laughs> maybe smiling a bit. I can't promise anything. I smile when I want to smile and not when somebody needs me to. And that's that. It's not going to work. It's just not going to work. Have hope, old chap. We all must have hope. Citizens of the galaxy. Rationally, I know that I should be truly grateful to you for wanting to make me the most important princess in the galaxy. But I must be honest and say what lies at the bottom of my incorruptible, shattered heart. <laughs> What's with the weird smile on your face? <laughs> Go away! Can't you see that I'm thinking? He always ruins everything. Oh my goodness! 
because I'm going on vacation for about 10 days or so. I don't really care whether the science exists or not. It's all purple to me now. <laughs> Ain't that a stinger? The whole garden's nothing but eggplants. <laughs> <laughs>